what's going on guys and welcome to monday this is the 15th week of investing on our channel um on this channel basically we uh invest 50 bucks every monday through friday in the hopes of retiring early through dividend stocks um or etfs <laughs> basically just got back from disney so i've got my fancy silly mickey hat on but check it out boom that's how you know it's official um this is my silly hat of the week so basically here is what we're going to do today we're going to start off with our youtube channel tracker not much has changed because it's been well a day uh since i last updated due to travel um but we're going to do something a little bit different today we're going to look at our SoFi portfolio in SoFi where it will show us how much we've gained and how much we have lost so far from each one of our holdings. Um, kind of a nice progress report to see, you know, where, what's doing what. Um, and then we'll look at uh, Seeking Alpha. That's how we track our portfolio here. And uh, we're going to take a look at which dividends will be paid next um so let's take a look at that channel tracker and uh, let's start this thing up all right guys so this is our youtube channel tracker uh as you can see on this blue line today is april 10th of 2023 i did not track my weight loss or my weight this morning and it wasn't because i was running around it was on purpose um, I just got back from vacation. I got to start easing back into the gym. I'm not easing back into the gym, but giving myself time to get back into the gym because uh, I, I definitely abuse vacation. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I am taking a step in the right direction with that. Um, I am starting up a diet plan with Factor 75. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've done that in the past. They have a really good keto plan. I lost a lot of weight. Um, and felt really good about it. So I want to go back on that, see how that works. And then, um, you know, have my meals taken care of. They have a plan where I'm ordering, uh, 10 of my meals per week will be from those guys. So not only do I not have to cook, which is great. Um, but I should have five days worth of lunches and dinners all set. Um, which is awesome. The other days I'll, you know, eat a grilled chicken salad or something like that. But um, yeah, so that'll be pretty easy and we have a plan. Plan is in place. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll see. So <laughs> investment balance. So we are at $3,926 and 73 cents. Uh, so pretty good, healthy balance there. Um, hoping to hit 4,000 this month or sorry, this week dividends earned. You're still at $26 and 16 16 cents of total dividends earned and our total growth moving in the upward direction we are down 137 dollars and 66 cents which is better than on saturday youtube total income we have made 100 dollars off of youtube um not off youtube though that came from um i got some free stock with the referral for sofi so if you guys want to get into investing uh, there's a link down in the description where if you start a new account with at least ten dollars, um, they'll give you twenty five bucks of free stock if you open a new investing account. Um, you know, I get some free stock too, which is great. I am not a credit counselor, wealth manager, or financial advisor, so obviously do your own research on that. I'm just a guy in a triangle shaped room. But uh, yeah, if you want to get some free stock, it's worked for me. Um, total subscribers. We lost one. That's my subscriber count sinking like the Titanic, but that's okay. Um, no, it's not. It really kind of makes me sad, but that's all right. Uh, so we are at 1,726 total subscribers. For the rest of you who didn't leave, thank you. If two of you left and one of you joined to the new person, hello. Uh, but our, it is what it is. Um, Total views, we are at 178,280, meaning we picked up 76 views since Saturday night. Um, and then lastly, our total watch hours is 3627.4. All right, so 
We are now looking at SoFi, and I like to call this what's doing what. <laughs> so we have here our uh, total unrealized gains, um, market price, shares, and total value. So these are sorted by no particular order. So we're just going to start at the top, work our way down. Whew. Okay, sorry for the yawning. I, I yawn so much in these videos. I'm just so tired all the time. I'm way too busy. But anywho. So Jep Q right at the top. This is one of, or yeah, actually, this is the only stock or fund that we don't buy regularly. Um, this I have in the portfolio, and it's here to just monitor it and research it uh, by having it. <laughs> so um, kind of an experiment there, and it's going pretty well. We have 9.19454 shares. Market price is up to $44.70, and I have made $19.70 profit off of this. That is really good considering we started this, um, you know, 15 weeks ago. Whew. So rude, so rude. <laughs> we, started this, we started this 15 weeks ago. So that's a great gain. Um, you know, we're, we're up and uh, our total value of that's $411. So that's feeling pretty good. MPW, public en enemy number one. This is Medical Properties Trust. I believe in it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It is what it is. Uh, we have 34 shares of it, though. It's now creeping its way back up. Uh, it's currently at $8.37. And I have a unrealized gain of a $70 loss. So this is really the primary loser for the portfolio right now. Um, and that's okay. I feel like it's coming back. It is coming back. We're watching it come back. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So we are at $284.85. Next, we have AT&T. Uh, everyone knows AT&T. We have 18.57 shares of that. Market price is popped back up to $19.54. We have made $8.03 off of this position for a total value of $362.81. Realty Income Corporation, also known as ticker symbol O. We have 11 shares of that. Um, that is a market price of $62.67. This is actually way down from where it normally trades. Um, and we're still doing all right because of those monthly dividends. But we are down $21. Um, total value is $691.36. Both uh, this and SCHD, we put $10 a day into instead of five like the other ones, which is why they are about twice as much. SCHD. I love this SCHD. I just made a video called I Love SCHD. Um, so we have 9.55 shares. It's currently at $73.48. And we're down a little bit, uh, down 12 bucks and 47 cents. But we do have over $700 of SCHD in this account now. Um, this might be the first one to hit a thousand, which would be pretty cool. Unless I just dump money into JQ, but that is a different thing. So, yeah, we're at $702.03. Jeppy! All right, Jeppy's a winner. So we have 6.64 shares of Jeppy. It's $54.45, and we are up $1.17 on Jeppy for a grand total of $361.33. Um, so that's really good. This is the monthly dividend payer for us. Uh, as a whole, Jeppy's down a tad year to date, um, but doesn't really matter that much because they pay us out that monthly dividend, so it's staying pretty even. Procter & Gamble, or PG. We have 2.47 shares, $150.96, and we're up $18.12. Um, that's actually pretty strong considering this is a like old stock that's been around for a gazillion years. Um, usually these get hit a little harder when the market starts coming down, but not today is what I say. Not today. Whew. Except for yawning. <laughs> so we have three hundred seventy-three dollars and fifty-one cents there. 
Pepsi. We finally broke two full shares of Pepsi, which those are $183.23 each. We are up $15.63 on Pepsi, bringing us to $372.05. And lastly, we have finally broken half of a share of BlackRock. We have 0.51 shares. Um, at $658.98 a share, we are down $20.37. So it's good to finally see not everything down. Um, we had before it was like everything was down and that's when we were losing like 250 bucks. Um, but now we have a little bit of a rebound here. You know, we have Pepsi and Procter and Gamble. That's basically outweighing... BlackRock and SCHD's performance. We have JetQ pretty close to covering O's negative performance uh, or, you know, um, Realty Income Corporation. And then we have the other losers. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, it's good to see at least some um, positive gains on the portfolio, positive unrealized gains. So that's always really good, uh, a, a great thing to see. Now we're going to jump into our Seeking Alpha account because as I said, we have some dividends to look at. Uh, what's coming up next on the dividend front? Well, we sort it by dividend pay date. Now I don't care that much about what's going on in May, but it looks like we should, here, we'll look at this one first. We will be getting paid by MPW, Medical Properties Trust, on the 13th. Uh, the 13th is Thursday, which means we should see that balance reflected on Friday the 14th in our SoFi account. And then for Realty Income Corporation, um, you know, we should be getting paid on the 14th, which should reflect in our account on the 15th. Um, so just between those two, these should be some pretty heavy hitter dividend payouts. Um, you know, Realty Income Corporation, we'll take a look at this really quick. Dividends. So they're going to be paying 26 cents per share based on whatever we had on the 31st. 26 times... I'm still getting used to this new layout. Oof. Oof, oof. 26 times 11, let's just say it's 10. That's about $2.60. Um, so that's pretty good. And then MPW, we have 34 shares. Now, here's the tricky thing is they took the snapshot for this on the 15th. So it was a while ago. Let's just assume we had 20 shares um which I, we had more than that but if we had 20 shares they're paying 29 cents per share so 0.29 times 20 don't make fun of me for doing that math on a calculator that's going to be about five dollars and 80 cents as a dividend payout right so five dollars and 80 cents in uh dividends just from mpw so that 580 plus you know, almost three bucks from um, Realty Income Corporation will get us over 30 bucks in total dividends earned so far this year. So looking forward to that. I'm excited to see um, how much MPW I get for free because I kind of forget exactly how much I had of it, um, you know, at this point almost a month ago. But that's really what we're looking at. Um, as far as other stuff on the 7th, AT&T took their snapshot of, um, you know, how many shares everyone has for their dividend and their dividends looking pretty good. So that'll get paid out on the 1st of May. So not coming up right away, but they're paying 28 cents. So a 28 cent payout is a uh, pretty solid, um, definitely pretty solid for a quarterly payout. Um, something that, you know, cost $19 and 57 cents a share. Um, but here's something also that's really interesting year to date performance, right? We remember where, we, where we had our gains. Um, you know, we had gains on Pepsi and Procter and Gamble. Those were some of our biggest, uh, JetQ was good. AT&T was like, 
man, but we were up. Jeppy, we're up on, even though Jeppy's down. Um, it, it just shows how the the dollar cost averaging or investing every day can sometimes help you um, play a little more even with some of these things. It might be down a tad or or whatever. But yeah, reinvesting our dividends every time it uh, it grows pretty quick. But that's pretty much what we're looking at on the uh, start of the week. All right. And so with all that said, um, you know, I did just make a video the other night that got uploaded today on uh, what is SCHD and why do I love it? Um, so if you guys want like a deeper look at what SCHD is or how it works, um, check that out. That video just came out. Um you know, again, I am also excited to come up or have that diet plan worked out because that will just eliminate a lot of um, pain with like, you know, trying to cook and be healthy and figure out the time to do stuff. So just pay the service and see how that goes. Hopefully I'll lose weight. Um, and uh, I, I know I'll lose weight. To be honest, that plan is really good. I've done it before and uh, the food's tolerable um definitely not an endorsement or, or not sponsored or anything like that but it's a good program and it's it's been good in the past so i'm excited to get back on that and uh you know other than that i wish you guys happiness health and wealth roll the outro <laughs>